Shalom. Kahalayim la Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakudash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami Camp coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is going to be an exhortation. Okay, to the hopeful elect. Okay, which uh, this lesson was inspired. Okay, by a post that I saw. That uh, I believe on YouTube, someone posted uh, uh, a a quote saying, "Thank God that uh, I was on the wake up list this morning." All right. Which is a uh, spiritual too, because at, at work earlier, there was this Jake that walked in, a uh, customer, and I greeted him and I, 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 you know, asked him how was he doing. And he said, "I'm, I'm blessed. The Lord woke me up today. I'm, I'm good." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right." Okay. And what I want to go into in this lesson is speaking on how the Lord, Lord willing, has us set to be preserved until the day of salvation and when i say us i'm speaking as the hopeful elect lord willing we are to be preserved or going to be preserved unto salvation okay because as the scriptures say everyone on earth now that isn't uh being taken out this very moment or you know won't get taken out in the very near future in the next days or so which as the scriptures say also that uh his judgments go out every every day which also says his mercies is renewed every morning if if you are not to be taken out every man has his day if you're not Set to be taken out, and then you know, right away, you're being preserved. And it's it's only two reasons: is either to be preserved unto salvation, or to be preserved unto destruction. Okay, you have a lot of people that are dying every day, in in gruesome ways, horrific ways, more and more because we're in the last days. But you have a lot of people that are escaping judgments a lot of people uh you know are surviving these different uh, uh horrific events or you know you have these different train derailments or car pileups or, you know plane crashes all type of things and people are being saved from these these uh, incidents you have a lot of people that die in these different incidents you have a lot of people that are saved okay and a lot of times people think that they're spared like you had a uh, perfect example you had uh, these jakes went down to mexico to do whatever wickedness they had and they got uh snatched up by it's a car out there and held for ransom right and I believe a couple couple of the Jakes got put to death. And then you had a, a, another couple, I think it was like four or two died and two were spared. Uh, one uh, so-called black woman in particular, she just resurfaced in the news again for so doing some, some more wickedness. So she got spared in that one event, but yet she she's uh, still out committing more wickedness. You have a lot of people, they'll get spared from certain things, and they think that they're, they're spared because God loves them so much, and, you know, they're just uh, special or something. When in all actuality, they're, they're just being preserved for an even greater judgment in the future. A lot of people are escaping, you know, beating cancer or, you know, dodging bullets just so the Lord can have them go through Jacob's trouble. 
have them go through the worst times of all and and uh, uh, really suffer to experience famine okay to to uh commit cannibalism to ultimately receive the MOTB and, and eat a missile catch a nuclear missile to die in 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 a fire on on a judgment day some people are being preserved to catch a, a laser beam from Yahweh Shah himself. Okay? And we pray that's not our fate. We pray that's not what we're being preserved for. Okay? Lord willing, we are being preserved for salvation. To exp to see the Lord Yahweh Shah return in those chariots and ultimately be delivered. Okay? The scriptures speak about uh, blessed is the man that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy. All right, Ezra spoke about, you know, how blessed they be that, that are uh, left behind. Okay, which the scriptures say, uh, the Apostle Paul said, what, uh, to die is gain, right? But he also said for, for him to, to stay on earth is more needful for, for the edification of the body. Okay? So... Those that die in Yahweh Shai shall be risen up first. But Lord willing, we are preserved. We, we will be preserved unto salvation. Okay? Honestly, I would love to, uh, you know, be at peace in, in the spiritual realm with, with, with our Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Don't have to worry about the, the cares of this life anymore. But I would rather be here on earth. To see this whole movie play out, to see, you know, the reward of, uh, uh, for the wicked, like it says in Psalms 91. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou see and behold the reward of the wicked. I want to see that. I want to experience, uh, you know, having that great divine hedge of protection around me and my family while the, while the whole world is crumbling. Okay, because that's going to be a, a hell of an experience. Times like never before. Uh, having Michael, uh, the archangel, stand up for you. Having that standard lifted. You know, I, I want to receive spiritual power. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to, I want to, as the scriptures say, uh, my servant shall eat, but he shall be hungry. So, in order for that to, to happen, the Lord has to preserve us. Alright? So, without further ado, I'm just going to get some scriptures. Low and uh, fine. I don't want to make this uh, too long. But this is Psalms 37 and 27. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. And that's what we have done. When I say we ain't speaking as the hopeful elect, although we're in the flesh still, and we still sin, but how do we depart from evil? By turning our spirit, our mind, from the ways of the world, from the fashion of this world. We repent it. Like it says in Romans, the 12th chapter, be ye not conformed to, this, to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what it means to depart from evil to repent go back to feeling sorry for your sins and praying to the Lord to not give you over to uh, presumptuous sins as our Lord as our King David spoke okay as he prayed which I believe this is also a psalm of uh, David right yep Psalms 37 and 28 for the Lord loveth judgment. Yahweh loveth judgment. So he, he's a, a just judge. He will render to everyone what they deserve. And he has mercy on whom he will have mercy. Which the only ones that's going to really receive mercy are the hopeful elect. The ultimate form of mercy. But like I said, you're going to have certain people that's... You know, somebody gets taken out right now, 
with a stray bullet to the head and they die instantly, that's mercy. Compared to someone who's going to starve to death uh, when, when, when the shit hits the fan. Okay, and after to see their their family starve, someone who's gonna eat uh, eat a missile. That's a slow death. The scriptures say, "For these pine away, or better are they that be slain with the sword than them that are slain with hunger." Okay. The scriptures also speak about how uh, death is better than continual sickness. And uh, famine, that's continual sickness, which the Lord is going to send more plagues, diseases, going to have a lot of people catching all type of pestilence and, and slowly dying away. But the ultimate form of mercy is to escape all that, which Yahweh Shai uh, said, pray ye, um, always that you may be found. Uh, worthy to escape the things that are coming on the earth roughly paraphrasing which is what we want okay that's what we're looking for the ultimate form of mercy which is judgment okay righteous judgment is can can be uh mercy or wrath whatever judgment the lord brings forth is righteous judgment okay for the lord love of judgment and forsake if not his saints, they are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Okay, so the Lord said his saints are preserved forever. And who is his saints? The Israelites, starting with the elect. Okay, like it says, it was in the Psalm in the third chapter. Uh, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And they that be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints. And he has care for his elect. All right. So that's the key point right there. He forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever. Now, of course, we know some of the elect is going to have to give up their their life for for a sacrifice for a testimony to the glorification of Yahweh Bashem Yoshai. All right. But we believe through spirit, through spirit and uh, through faith that the majority of the elect here on the earth are going to be preserved. They're going to uh go through this whole thing and come out on the other side whole. Okay? Cuz what Yahweh Shai said what if uh the days were not short and there'd be no flesh to be saved. So the Lord is going to come back to um, many of the elect on the earth intact and whole physically and, and their faith whole and intact. That's the great salvation. There's going to be many Israelites that's going to make it through. And in order for that to happen, the Lord has to preserve them. In order for that to happen through what the worst times of all it's gonna have to be a mighty 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 hedge placed around those souls men women and children okay the lord's gonna have to do something very miraculous all right Uh, I don't have to get that I've quoted that already This is 2nd Peter chapter 2 And verse 9 The Lord knoweth how to deliver The godly out of temptations So We understand that We're going to need the Lord to deliver us out of these times We're not going to be able to do it on our own We're not going to be able to preserve ourselves through, through what's coming you, We can't preserve ourselves through the night <laughs> If the Lord uh, Sanctioned for us to, to choke on our spit While we're sleeping It's going to happen Okay the scriptures say what uh, Fear not thou worm Jacob So we're like worms We're defenseless Alright 
The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So it goes uh, hand in hand. Like we said, the Lord can, you know, preserve you to be delivered or he can preserve you to be destroyed. And that balance, that, that fear of knowing it could go either way keeps us in line. Okay, it keeps us from going off. As, or, you know, or it should. It, it will for the elect. Okay. But um, when you actually go into this word reserve, it's Tyreo. Right, which means what to attend to carefully, to keep one as he is. All right, so to keep one as he is, to keep someone whole, attend to carefully, or guard, which should make you think of this scripture right here, which brothers start with our apostles and elders have brought out many a time before. Okay, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. This is a key scripture. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon earth. Upon the earth. Okay? And that word for kept and keep is Tyreo. So this links with uh, the Second Peter two and nine, okay? Because Yahweh Shai is saying to his elect, because you have attended carefully to his word, you 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 guarded the word of the Lord in your mind. All right, you maintain your integrity, maintain your faith. He's going to keep you in the hour of temptation. He's going to attend to you carefully. He's going to guard you and keep you as you are okay which is what to preserve or reserve being kept through through this whole ordeal that's about to take place up until what the the, the ultimately up until the day of the Lord all right which uh this we we'll close out with this one right here Timothy chapter 4 and 18 and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work okay it makes me think of uh, was that Isaiah 54 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper alright and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever amen and that's the, uh, the Apostle Paul speaking, right? Now, didn't Apostle Paul get beheaded? I believe. So, like, I know he, he he gave up his life for Yahweh Shah. He ultimately was uh, put to, to death, right, for preaching the gospel. But he said the Lord is going to deliver him from every evil work and preserve him unto the heavenly kingdom. Why? Because the Apostle Paul is back now. Doing the work all over again. And he knew 
in his spirit that he was going to come back. He knew Yahushua wasn't coming back in his lifetime. He knew he was going to have to die. Whether he, he was going to die by the hands of man or die in his old age, he knew the Lord wasn't coming back in those days. He knew he was going to have to be regenerated. Like Yahweh I told uh, the Apostle Peter. Okay? In the re regeneration. You shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay? But, here we are now in the, re in the regeneration. And the Apostle Paul knows, he, he knew in his spirit that he was of the elect. Why? Because like Peter said... Give diligence to make that calling and election sure. So that's where we are right now. Okay. And this is the type of faith that the elect are going to show. Okay. See, I said show because faith without works is dead. So it's going to have to be seen, made manifest. And the uh, best time for that is when there's uh, a lot of adversity in your life. Which is coming. Okay. Extreme adversity is coming. Which is going to be the time to show extreme faith. Okay. We have to believe this. We have to believe the Lord is going to preserve us. Until the day of Yahweh Shai. He that begun this good work in you. Will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shai. So that's pretty much it. Went longer than I wanted to, but Lord willing, it was out of fine. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rahokadash, and to the next one, Shalom.